Just received the injector tester. Uh, the petrol fuel injector tester. And it's I got it on E and it's type EM two seven six. And uh, it looks like there is a thing for a battery here, but no, there's no connections for a battery, so we don't have a battery. Probably just a, a box. Okay. Comes with your instruction leaflet uh, very little on it of course uh, there's not much that you need to know uh, i'm going to do now is i'm going to rig this up to a, a power supply and do a few uh, tests here on the bench and i have it set to about 12.4 volts and i've limited the current to about 1.5 amps uh, I've, I've shorted the two leads and as you can see 1.5 amps over here at this spot um, I'm going to connect it up now to the injector tester we have a zero here at this point and you said there's four modes in it four and um, I'll just explain them what the leaflet says. Um, zero must be nothing. Uh, mode one, uh, it outputs one pulse, uh, and the pulse width is about 250 milliseconds. Mode two, um, it outputs 50 pulse, 50 pulses, and every pulse width is about seven milliseconds. Mode 3 then is 100 pulses uh, for about 3.5 milliseconds. And more mode 4 is 50 pulses per every for about um, 1450 milliseconds. Every pulse is about 7 milliseconds. Um, that's a continuous mode. It, it, uh, it, it keeps outputting those pulses. Uh, I wouldn't use that on my car. Uh, you could fill one of the cylinders full of petrol. It wouldn't be pleasant. Um, but I'm going to just show you here. Um, I got a little bulb, and uh, I'm going to connect it up to the injector tester. And. Uh, See, can I get a closer shot? And first of all, we go to mode one, and that is one pulse, it just outputs one pulse, and the pulse width is 250 milliseconds. Very short period. There you go, it's quick as that. Now a bit annoying about this you can't change the modes while it's connected up you have to just power it down power it back up again go to mode 2 and mode 2 is 50 pulses and every pulse width is 7 milliseconds so i'm gonna put the lcd uh, light flashing on here and you'll see it here now it's fairly dim here, but it is flashing. Let's connect. And now we go to mode 3. Mode 3 is 100 pulses. And every uh, pulse width is 3.5 milliseconds. Okay. See it is on and then it just goes off. Now we come to mode 4 which is a continuous pulse 
and uh, 50 pulses per uh, 1450 milliseconds and every pulse width is 7 milliseconds so you get out uh, 50 pulses in a time space of 1450 milliseconds okay but it's continuous as you would see it just keeps and if I want to stop press the pulse again switch off. Of course when it's pulsing I'm only drawing about 80 milliamps uh, on, uh, on the power supply. Uh, that's the uh, supply of this and actually switching this on. This is a, a very low current device that you would find in behind the display of uh, a radio that would light up an LCD on a radio. So it's very low current. Next thing I have to do now is uh, try it out on uh, the actual car itself. Connect, connect it up to the car and uh, have the uh, injector tester um, on number two I'm just going to go to now. I did number one and that drops down to about 18 and a half PSI after uh, Putting the uh, injector tester on for on mode two, which is a medium uh, uh, duration. Uh, I'm just going to go in and uh, I'm just going to re-energize the fuel pump. That's my rest pressure now. I'm going to just energize uh, number two injector. And that went down to about 18 psi. That also went to about 18 PSI. And also went to about 18 uh, PSI, that's the number 4. I'm just going to go back and do the number 1 again. I didn't show that on camera. Okay, uh, a little bit awkward to use because these connectors are way too large for the Nissan um, type injectors. You would uh, have to make yourself up a few uh, adapters uh, for each type of injector. 
with this type of fitting on each adapter. Um, uh, I would suggest uh, as you're doing cars, snip them off old cars, the uh, injector connectors, and uh, store store them for yourself. And uh, put uh, some spades on them, uh, male type spades to join into these female type ones. Uh, the unit works. Apart from that, um, it'd be nice if they gave you a few different types of uh, connectors here at the end, smaller um, type of connectors. But um, for the price, you can't have everything. Uh, hope that's some help out there for someone out there. Uh, thanks for watching.